Hello everybody, uh, it's Susie and Katrina here again. Hello. Um, today we've got a video for you of the old castle. Um, this is the fourth movement of pictures at an exhibition and this video is for any learner woodwind and brass players and for any saxophone players who are going to be joining in on the saxophone solo part in this movement. Um, we are going to, I'm going to play the part that is played by all the learner woodwind and brass on French horn and uh, Katrina's obviously got a saxophone, an alto saxophone there um, and she's going to play the saxophone solo as well as any extra notes that are for the uh, learner saxophone parts as well, is that right? Yes, and the saxophone part is cued into some of the other parts. If you're a brass player, for example, an advanced brass player, you might have this. Mm -hmm. So it might be that some people will play along with the saxophone that are not saxophone players. Mm -hmm. But the reason that we've invited saxophone soloists to come and join us here is because many, it's unusual to have a saxophone in an orchestra. The Scottish Chamber Orchestra don't have one. I've already asked them. They, they're like, no, we don't have a sax player in our orchestra. So uh, the chances are, if you have been invited to play the sax in this, that you're not used to playing the saxophone in an orchestra. Or perhaps you're a, an orchestral flute or clarinet player that's um, just picking up a sax just for this. It's quite a fun thing to play. So um, yes, the main thing is practice sitting down. I know a lot of sax players like to play standing up, but in the orchestra we have to sit down otherwise the people behind us can't see the conductor <laughs> so practice it sitting down uh, and enjoy yourself it's in six eight time which is again if you're a jazzer that's not a very usual time signature to come across but just don't worry about it it and you'll get to know it and it plays itself in the end yeah so all the people who are playing the learner woodwind and brass parts you're going to look at this and go well that's easy isn't it i've only got two <laughs> notes to play it's um, not and you're right that those two notes are pretty straightforward to play, but the counting is really, really hard um, because it's slow um, and you've got to count a lot of bars rest. And the music is kind of uh, soporific a little bit. You've got this dum, 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 dum rhythm that keeps going all the way through on the same notes right through the entire six minutes of the piece. It doesn't change and it's really easy to get lost. So I'm going to count out loud, I'm going to count the rests. You'll hear the uh, rehearsal figures um, uh, being called out as we go through. And I'm actually counting on my fingers as well as out loud because it, it's so easy to get lost. So I'm keeping track of, of how many bars I've counted with my left hand. Um, you could I'm also pop onto YouTube and look for the full orchestra version of this and make a little note on your part where the different instruments come in and that will help you to know as you're counting that you're definitely in the right place Absolutely, well. it's a really good thing because sometimes we, we expect um, things to happen at the rehearsal figures and they don't. For instance, the very first saxophone entry is just after, after a rehearsal 20, figure. Yeah. It's not at the rehearsal figure and that can be a little bit confusing as well. Um, the other thing I wanted to say was about um, how we're sitting. Um, uh, you might be wondering, some people had asked questions about why we weren't socially distanced and that's because we uh, live in the same household, so we don't have to socially distance. Um, but if you're playing with somebody from another household and you're playing a woodwind or brass instrument, you have to make sure under the current regulations that you are three metres apart, which is quite a long way. It is possible to play that's with somebody. That's in Scotland. If you're that's watching Scotland, and you're in yeah. Scotland, that's the rule in Scotland at the moment. So just make sure you're following the rules. We know that the new rules as of, what was it, yesterday, are that uh, we can only have six people from two households together. Um, but that rule about social distancing, if you're playing woodwind and brass, does it apply. And if you're playing just strings, then you have to be two metres apart from one another, okay? So uh, if you're from different households. But we, don't, we can be, get as close as we like to the Scottish Chamber Orchestra on screen. Which is amazing. <laughs> So we're going to have a go now um, and I think Fiona who's sitting three metres away from us very very carefully is going to press play and um, I'll start counting and then you'll hear Katrina playing the sax solo. Let's go. Excellent. So, uh, one and two.
Brilliant. <laughs> so obviously most of the learner uh, woodwind and brass players, once you've played your second note at figure 29, you can just sit back and relax. Relax, absolutely. And just enjoy that ending. I was ending. going to say to the beginners as well, when you're playing your note, although I think it says 40 diminuendo, don't play too loud, just make a beautiful sound so that what we get is with the, in the orchestra, you're, you're important and, it, and it, you get a big <sighs> sound and it's amazing. So the trumpeters in the Scottish Chamber Orchestra quite often have that job of sitting around counting acres of breaths, picking up their instruments and hitting the right note and making it. And suddenly the whole orchestra comes alive because the trumpets have come in. So that's you've got a job a lot like a Scottish Chamber Orchestra trumpeter there. Absolutely. <laughs> Brilliant. So I hope you find that video really useful. I just wanted to say something to the solo sax players. Make sure you do practice this all the way to the end because the start's beautiful and the end's a little bit terrifying. You've got to count so carefully and you are on your own. So practice all the way through to the end. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, because particularly at sort of 31 and 32, there are little silences which can really be yeah. alarming. Suddenly there's nothing happening and you've got to come in out of yeah. nothing and that's um, really quite scary. Um, when you are in, in an actual orchestra, which fingers crossed we will be next year, the solo sax is solo. At the moment, obviously, I was playing along with the string players, but the string players don't really have that in their parts. They're just playing cues. This all the whole of that sax part is just sax. So uh, make friends with your conductor and watch watch your conductor <laughs> next year. Okay, have fun uh, practicing the old castle. See you next time. Bye.